my beautiful dragonflies. Okay, let me adjust you just a little. Um, today we are going to be doing our full face one color. To the, we are going to do yellow today. So, wish me luck on this one. Um, first week, first color. All right, let's start by putting our face on and getting ready to do this. I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. primer. How's everybody doing? I hope that everybody is having a wonderful start to their month. Um... I had a really hard time picking a color, so nine colors were picked total. So we're going to do all nine. We're going to do, we're just going to do all nine. I have the stuff to do it, we're just going to do all nine. Alright, and then the foundation we're using is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. Um, someone asked me to use the Fit Me. And we will work that in. I'm going to just work out of both. So they were the only two that were suggested out of the suggested ones. So are the ones that I wanted to put into the project pan. So I just decided instead of just picking one, we'll just go with both. Today, we are wet and wild. So, let's go ahead. I'm going to use my blender. And just tap this in. The Stilla is used up, so we are using a different mascara. I have the air conditioner turned off so that it's not loud and obnoxious. So, okay, we're going to go in with our Ready, Set, Gorgeous by CoverGirl, and we are going to lighten under the eyes because Lord God knows they need it. We'll work that in with our blender, the other end of the blender. And this is the Real Techniques blender. Um, it looks like my last day of therapy will be tomorrow, which is great, which my arm is doing really well. I'm working really hard trying to get it to feel better. So, all that hard work is paying off. Can I get my powder to open? There we go. I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Fit Me powder. Guys, we're making some progress on this stuff. And I'm going to set everything really quick. Mm -hmm. He when those little hairs go up your nose. They're just like... There was your whole day off. Woo! Because now I'm going to walk around all day feeling like I have something in my nose. Okay. 
I'm going to go in with the uh, Physicians Formula Butter Blend Butter Bronzer. And just bronze the cheeks up a little bit. Oh, maybe too much. So that we can tone that down. And then I just want to add a little bit of life back up around the forehead, jawline, just a little, under that bottom lip, and then down each side of the nose. Because the last thing we need to do is emphasize how crooked my, real, my nose really is. Okay. Then I'm going to take my big fluffy brush that I used for the powder. I'm not going to add any extra powder. I'm just going to blend the concealer in. Or that concealer. Oh my gosh. That bronzer in. Okay. Now we're going to start getting into the fun. Um, as far as eyebrows i am now using the wet and wild retractor retractable bro mm -hmm. retractable re retractable brow pencil there we go Whew, that was a tongue twister it didn't need to be all right i still feel like i have a hair in my nose from that brush I'm going to try something new with the brows. You guys are going to have to let me know what you think. I hope they look okay. That one looks huge. Definitely need more practice with this. At least it's going to be a fun look today. Okay. Brows are done. On. I think I like this one better. I think this one ended up too fat down here and too fat here. I like how this one is skinny, starts out skinny, and then ends skinny, and then this one's just fat and flat, and then just keeps going. But you guys let me know, right or left. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and get some of the Manica Dar Step 1 eye primer and we are going to get some primer on our lids because we are using yellow shadows and I'm going to show you all these different yellow shadows that I found and we are going to make this work we're not going to try we are going to make it work because as long as we try we're doing it. I mean, there's no halfway today. We've committed to a color and we're going to stick to it to the end. Okay, eyes are primed and let's get started. 
Okay, first of all, I'm going to keep that handy. Um, in the Anastasia Prism palette, there are a couple colors we could use. We'd use this one, which is sapphire, and we also have pyramid, which is a gold color. So I have that one pulled. I also have bright lights and lit is very yellow. We are going to definitely use that yellow. Also have the subculture palette, but you know what? Now that I'm looking at it, it's more of a mustardy color. So, so we might need that in the crease. So we're going to use that. So far, the prism palette's the only one I'm not sure about. Um, in our Chi Chi palette, we have this color up here, which is a yellow. That gives us three yellows so far, possibly four. But in this one, we have gold mine right here, which we could use. And that is in the Urban Decay Vice uh, LTD Reloaded palette. So, for now, we're going to set the prism palette aside, and we're going to try and make our look work with what we have over here. So, crease, subculture. We're going to go in with edge, which is that mustardy color, and I'll show that to you guys in just a second here. Get that up where you can see it. It's this one right here. We're going to pack some of that on our brush. And instead of just swiping it in, we are going to pack it. Just pack it. Just above that crease area. And we're going to do that with both eyes. And then we're going to switch brushes because we're going to be switching brushes a lot today. And we are going to go in with, that one was the Morphe PK524 brush. And I'm so worried that that's not going to be a yellow enough color. But we're going to go in now with Lit from the Bright Lights palette. Is this one here and I'm going to put that right at the very top edge of that mustardy color I really work that one in I don't know if I like that mustardy color it's really yellow though I will give it that okay Let's go in, that was the, I used the Morphe E22 for that one. And then we're going to go in with the Morphe M577, which is a domed, it's a bigger domed one. And we're going to go into the Chi Chi palette. And we are going to go into this yellow up here in the corner. And we're going to go right under the brow bone with that. I think that helps the yellow quite a bit. Okay, so I'm going to take that same color and I'm going to go to the outer corner here. And I'm going to put it right on the inside. And then I have a totally different thing to use for the center of the eye. So I'm excited. Hopefully this will work. Okay. Still not sure that mustardy color should have went in this yellow look. But it's there now. So, all right. I'm going to go in the, with the Wet n Wild Glitter that I found at the dollar store and I am going to get some of that glitter on my finger now this is a gold glitter that's set into a clear base I don't know if you can see that and I'm gonna pop that right in the center of the eye I want to get quite a bit of it packed in there 
if I can. Really concentrated in there. I feel like I'm taking more off than I'm putting on. I'm getting plenty of glitter fallout, that's for sure. Alright, that is nice and sticky, but it's not giving us a lot of payoff for that. So let me reach down in this drawer. I wasn't going to pull it out and use it, but I think I'm going to. I have the LA Colors. Let me grab my paper towel down here. Um... I have the LA Colors, and it's a, like a glitter, it's just a loose glitter, and I'm going to try and put that right on top of that other glitter, this loose pigment on top of that glitter, and hope that that stickiness will help hold it in place, really get this yellow popping. So glitter, I was not happy with that glitter. So I don't recommend that glitter. You see, don't worry about it. Don't get it. Because it didn't do a whole lot. This right here is doing good, but the problem with this is you have to have a glitter glue. I guess you could get that other glitter and use it for glitter glue. But we're really yellow, guys. <laughs> this is what we're working with so far. Okay, now, I have um, a glitter, it's called Glitter Tears Eyeliner from Ulta, and I got it in that um, gift set that I got from Robert for Christmas, my son-in-law Robert, and let's see if we can lay a bead of this down without getting it everywhere. You don't really see it. You don't really see it. So let's put it up here so we can see it. Why not have fun with it? Oh, that's really wet. No, guys, I'm in a weird mood today. It's been a decent day. Nothing crazy has happened. It's kind of fun. I don't know. Kind of weird. Kind of out there. But it is what it is. So let's try and do the same thing to the other eye. Show you my magnifying mirror here. You get it in my way. She'll gonna have gold delation. This brush is so crazy. It's giving me problems. Might have to get a different... Oh, I transferred. It's gonna dry. Okay, well that's drying. Uh, let's uh, go to... Uh, let's go to our Highlight. It's still wet. I can still feel it. And we're using Beauty Gems. And we're going to use this top one right here, which is L1. That's all it is. I mean, it's I1. Eliminator, not a highlighter. In illuminator. That's what we're going to use. These are highlighters, these are illuminators, and these are blushes. So let's get to illuminating. And I need a brush to do this. Let's try this one from Morphe. The R12. Because I haven't tried it yet. And oh, that's a big brush to be go trying to go in there. I just picked up some of that blush. Sure don't want it picking up that blush. Oh, but that is very golden. Very on the yellow side. Bam! Yellow. Bam! 
him yellow. Okay, let's bring that down the nose. Put some on the cupid's bow. Chin. Buy him to the gods. I have this other loose one that I want to put on top of that because it's yellow yellow and it's the uh, MKP that we got in one of the beauty boxes and it is very yellow so I'm just going to tap some of that and really add to that yellow guys I'm not wearing this out so it's okay <laughs> but it is going to be yellow Yellow. Oh, that is. Oh, goodness. I'm going to have to get my powder brush back out. Because that is really blingy on my nose. We are very yellow. Alright, let me get. This is feeling like it's starting to dry, so let me get some lashes on. And I'm using the Well People Expressions Mascara. And this is what that bristle looks like. It's a little plasticky bristle. I'm not going to try and curl these lashes just for the simple fact that everything will turn gold. I feel like Midas right now. Everything I touch is turned into gold. I mean, from the fallout. Because I didn't put any on the under eyes, but here, I'll show you guys. Let me get this. I'm not going to do the lower lot. Well, I'm going to need. I'm going to need something. This stuff is not showing up. Look at my eyes underneath. Fallout City. But this is so much fun. This is working great on that lower lash, though. Just was not good on that upper, the upper lash. But it's great on that lower lash. I don't know. It just doesn't feel like it's... I'm getting enough on there to do anything. It's separating the crap out of them. It's just not giving them any volume at all. I don't know. That second layer looks a little bit better. Still not... As bam as I'm used to. I don't think I've ever struggled this hard with my lashes. I might have to pull a second color out to do just the top. A second mascara just for the top lashes because this is... Okay, let's get our lips on and then this look will be complete. And I hope you guys enjoy it because... Woo! Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on from this um, Starlux that we got that I was going to give away because it was just too natural, which is called natural. I'm going to put that on my lips first. I just want a creamy base. Because... We are now going to go in with, this is, oh, what is it called? I'll have it listed below, because the, the name is wore off, but I have another one. With the same name, same company. But I can't remember what it's called right off that, and it's not over here, so it means it's over there. So I'm going to, I'll have to list it below. And this is in a gold. It's a gold topper. 
are sil or not silver, yellow or gold, goldish flower. And we're just going to put this over this. And just tap it in there. We want to get as much of the glitter in there as we can. Because that's what's going to give us that yellow look. A little bit more on that upper lip. And this is our yellow look, guys. I hope you guys like it. I had fun creating it. Um, I don't know what color we're going to do next. I have bags ready to go. Um, so we did yellow today. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more. Nine total. This one is our coppery color. So we're going to do like a coppery color. And then this one is orange. We're going to do an orange. Um, we're going to do purple. We are going to do red. We are going to do pink. We are going to do blue. Um, and we're going to do gray. And last but not least, and it's not going to be in this order, we're going to do the silvery Oh, a silvery color. Oh, a silvery colored face. Oh, that thing got my hair up my nose and it's just about driving me nuts. Alright, guys. I hope you guys had fun. I had fun and um, I, I look forward to doing some more of these different colored looks. I hope this yellow look turned out. I'm not happy with the uh, mascara, so I'm going to look to see if I can find a better mascara for the top lashes. But uh, that's my video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, please like, subscribe, comment below, and we'll see you in the next video. And who knows what color my, fa my face will be in the next one. But uh, I got a lot of good stuff to try out. <laughs> okay, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Remember, all dragonflies are beautiful in their own way. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!